Gaming abilities have vastly improved, to say the least. This one hit hard. Honeycutt had a beat on it the entire way, and it'll just turn out to a long out. It is a thing of beauty. Gorgeous day at the Bosch. Popped high in the air, but should be an out. Horvath settles under it, nice and calm. A little herky-jerky at first. No surprise, Wayne McDonald had that down early. That's got a hit, Harrell. And that went right at him. Just got away, I think, from Padge at that time. Strikeouts against 12 walks. Popped in the air, hit pretty deep, and out of here. A two-run home run for a team that can hit some home runs. Home run number four for winners, and Campbell takes a 2-0 lead. This Campbell team, a nice start when it looked like North Carolina. A 10 mile per hour difference between pitches. And gets the last batter. Oops. Hits sharply. This one's got a good chance, and Frick is on. I'm giving him a hit on that one because late hitting 226 on the season. This one will bounce up, and that'll allow Frick to get over to second base. And for the second consecutive inning to start this one from the Bosch, North Carolina. Right back up the middle. Handled by the new pitcher, but the runner does advance. We're seeing if Colby has that bat, he's going to put the ball in play. I thought he was looking at a ball and said it does fine. As we've said three or four times now, making his first start of the season, and he'll have an RBI. So the rookie gets an RBI, and you almost felt like Coach Scott Forbes on a hunch going with Carter French in a pick. Cook will go down, but not before the rookie Carter French pulls one back for the Tar Heels. ...and fine-tuning it to, to develop power. Here's the leadoff hitter, Belvin. Pops it high in the air, and it is the rookie making it. Okay, it's more than home runs. And here, doubles are a real big part of the Campbell ball game, and it's a big part of their offense. Arnold Stain put. French is under it, and French has got it. They're near North Carolina at about 97%. This will be a walk here. And now, now we got the three flags, the center field blowing out to uh, left field. All right, that's a base hit. Good chance to score a run. French with the pickup. He'll hit the cutoff, and it'll be 3-1 Campbell. An RBI for Jordan, and Campbell gets that two-run lead. Pitch here, full count, and he'll miss. The bases are juiced for this big one-two pitch. And a big strikeout win needed. Campbell will leave three out there. They do push one across. We played two and a half in chat. Vanderbrink. Fairly routine fly ball. Settling underneath it is the center fielder, Tyler Halstead. One up, one down for North Carolina in the bottom of the third. Lance Honeycutt. We'll earn a walk. We've talked a lot about Mr. Horvath for more. Runner going, just like you said, hit and run, so he's going to be safe. And hustling down is Horvath. Ooh, looked like he may have pulled his foot, but he got it back just in time. Foot was coming up. Let's look. That Wasn't foot is up. It. He beat it. Ooh. I think he beat it. Wow, well, now I'm not as convinced. Safe. Well done. Wayne. And Stokely digs in. And safe at third base. Well done. You said it. Honeycut. Horvath. Fantastic job of running by the Tar Heels. Yeah, really good slide. And that's going to score one. Looks like two to try to tie it. Forbes sending him around. Honeycutt and Horvath as delivering is. So Frick, base hit and scored a run. And this is another way to score a run. See ya! Frick with a two run home run, and it's 5 3 North Carolina.
was dialed up by the home plate umpire Street. Underneath it in fair play was Drew Winters. Anything that matters for Peterson, as that's exactly why. Top of the order, you knew Belvin was due. He was 0 for 3, and Belvin brought that 339 batting. Uh, power at the plate. Arnold, with one swing of the bat, has a chance to tie it, and he's tied it. 5-5. Five, five. Just talked about facing the top of the order, not counting out Campbell. Arnold with a two-run home run. His 15th of the season has tied this game up at fives. At bat with four home runs. Pearson on deck with 11. Hostel will get a base hit. And so far, it's a good team. And they've got another hit here. And runners at first and second. And right now, North Carolina, nobody out in an inning. Oh, hit sharply to Horvath. There's two. Trying to get three. Oh, if he stays on first base, he's got it. Stokely got pulled off. I am not certain. We were cheated here. All right, the camels keep hitting. It's the word on the street. It wasn't as close as my reaction. I was pretty excited. It in. Winters has already set one out of the park. Stokely's going to take it himself, but not before. One, two. Picked up by Short and over to first. Here's. He'll take it. Really good game from Frick. A bit opportunity for Osuna to get one of the Jets three. Osuna took a big swing it. Back up the middle. No problem for Campbell. We played seven complete. We knew it was going to be. And now Poston, and you get the feeling that Forbes is going to hit a saddle on number 38. Oh, without question. You're so spot on knowing that they still have to think about ECU. They're not thinking about ECU at all right now, but at the end of the day, ECU. And North Carolina is not in that position where you can split. You got to take both. Belbin in on the hands. Good hustle by French. That is a massive out for Poston. We go to the bottom of the eighth with the Tar Heels. For Stokely, Stokely, a two-run home run for Frick. And it was 5-3, kind of rolling along. Zeros for 3-1 three. Three, pitch. And that is a walk. Carolina has scored 10 or more runs in five. Oh, that is huge right there. Remember that play as it wasn't that difficult, but again. Go. Hi, Mom. And we'll go advance. Nice play by Cummings. Full count. Runner at third base. Honeycutt. Yeah. Hits one straight out to center field. And. North Carolina will win today and, you know, worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Arnold already got a two-run home run, one bounce. French is going to pick it up, rounding first, stand up double. Well, a slide for the heck of it. It'll be a double for Arnold here. Today. That's going to end up being a pretty good bunt. Oh, and he's safe. Wow, Horvath. I'm not sure what he was waiting. He knew what was on the line. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Oh, my. And Poston falling apart here. The base, that's on the season. Oh, my. And that's going to walk in the go-ahead run as Poston has hit two back-to-back -back pitchers. There's still nobody out here in the top of the ninth. Horvath's going to go home with it. Great play. And a hard slide on Frick as Halstead came in. Base is still juiced. There's going to be an out and an out. And he's going to get them both. Wow. Fry gives wow. North Carolina hope. Unbelievable. Horvath lays down a punt. And what a brilliant move. A guy with 19 home runs lays down the perfect butt. And here come the Tar Heels. Hitter in, in, in Stokely's case. Oh. Caught the inside black. Horvath going, Horvath gone. So Horvath with stolen base number 21 now. Holding into the, the ball game. 
Right, he'll walk Frick. So now runners at first and second as Frick hit hard. There's one. And there is two. And that's going to do it. And Campbell is going to get the win. They are going to take another look at it just to make sure the first baseman stayed on.